Hello friends, today we will be making raw mango chutney. I have taken three mangoes and this is what I have got from three mangoes. I have grated it. Now what we will be doing, we will be adding all the dry masalas and keeping it overnight. So this is hang powder. Add hang. This is jeera powder or cumin seeds. This is ajwain or carom seeds. This is black pepper, add as per your taste. This is kronji, kalonji sorry, or nigella seeds. This is soap powder or fennel powder, add as per your preference. Okay, so we have done everything. And now at last we will be adding, I will be using gur or jaggery. Alright, so this is the amount of jaggery I am using for this recipe. What I will be doing, I will be just mixing all this and I am not grating jaggery or uh, will be allowing, will be allowing it to soak all the masalas overnight and last, at last we will be adding salt as well if you have black salt please add that you have rock salt you can add that you can add common salt as well now add common salt and keep it covered overnight next day it will be it will soak all this soak all the masalas and then we will be heating it in a karahi or a deep bottom pan until it changes color and becomes a gel like consistency you can add red chili powder as well and any other masala of your choice this is salt just mix it and keep it covered overnight we'll see how much jaggery melts like this it will absorb because it will leave some water overnight. Alright, so we will keep it covered outside. We don't need to refrigerate it. Okay, so let's check how our chutney mix looks. This is how it looks like in the morning. The jaggery has melted. Mangoes have left water. This is just the perfect way we want it. See, there are a few small pieces, but that's okay. Now we'll be heating it, we'll be transferring it to a pan and heating it see if you want to add sugar you can add if you want to add more jaggery you want it sweeter you can add Okay, so our chutney is almost ready. 
when you are able to scrap it off the sides easily it's a sign that your chutney is ready and see it looks ready in color as well I have added one teaspoon of vinegar to it uh, vinegar will act as a preservative so but I don't plan to use it for a long time it will be finished within a 15 to 20 days so this is how our chutney looks like now it's perfect so what you will do is you will store it in a glass jar see I have added season seeds you can add melon seeds which I usually added but in my native place Patiala there is a <clears throat> seller who sells chutneys and he adds season seeds to chutneys so I have taken that clue from him so your chutney is ready you can turn off the flame and enjoy it and as I told you can add sweetness according to your taste I have added 5 good pieces you can add more or you can even replace it with sugar powder